Hey guys, I'm Ryan Naylor. Very excited today to bring you this guitar lesson on fingerstyle picking patterns. And uh, what I'm going to do for you are my top five picking patterns, basically, that I've taught over the years. And these are from songs that you probably already know. But rather than teach you those songs, I thought it better and more kind of interesting to put these patterns to one simple chord progression. Uh, G, D, E minor, C. A 1, 5, 6 minor, 4 in the key of G major. But rather than simply just putting a pattern to those chords, we're going to look to both do a picking pattern and some revoiced chords. So some new and exciting ways that you can play these kind of simple open chords. So two for the price of one today. Do not forget to subscribe if you're new to the family and give this video a nice big fat thumbs up if you do enjoy it. You can get more on this lesson by following the link to my website. Any questions or observations can be left in the comments below. And let's get stuck in. So the basics of finger style picking is that the thumb we label P and that is responsible for the bass string six, five or four. The index is I, that will grab anything on string three. The middle finger is M and that will grab anything on string two. And then the ring finger we label A, and that's gonna grab anything on string number one, so. So looking to pattern number one, we're taking inspiration here from songs like Everybody Hurts by R.E.M. or um, Hallelujah is done by Jeff Buckley, or even House of the Rising Sun by The Animals. They're all in this six eight field. So six eight, we have six eighth notes to a measure, a count of six but we group them into two beats, really, of three notes. Kind of a one and a two and a one and a two and a... And that's where we're going to start with a G chord. I thumb and then index, middle, ring, middle, index. Six, three, two, one, two, three. Now I've put just a slight variation into the G chord. Kind of a rock G, what I prefer. So we're gonna do the G. Then with the chord change to the D, it's going to be a D sus4. Keeping that G note up on string number one, and we pick four, three, two, one, two, three. So that's the pattern with the bass notes on string four. And then the E minor, we're going to go to a nice kind of E minor nine grip. Only really interested in the notes on strings one and two. Everything else can ring open. That's all you need to grab with the fingers. E minor nine. And then, so we pick six, three, two, one, two, three. And then we're gonna keep that third finger on the B string as we go to the C. For a C add nine, that one is called. And we pick five, three, two, one, two, three. It's always this kind of rolling of the fingers. The pattern will then go like this. Pattern number two is going to sound like this. This one inspiration for this will be Ain't No Sunshine by Bill Withers, Hey There Delilah by Plain White Tees, or even something more recent Counting Stars by One Republic. And in this pattern we have eighth notes in 4-4, four, four, the 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. The thumb will grab the bass notes on the beat and then we have both the index and the middle on strings 3 and 2 and they are picking together in between the beats on the ands of our count. So grabbing the G, we have a G5 grip with these notes. So it's thumb, fingers, thumb, finish. Finger three stays in as we go to this, which would be called a D5 officially, because there's no third in the chord. So the thumb has moved to the fourth string. Keep finger three in place, open up the G string as we go to an E minor seven. Thumb is on string six. And then a C sus two of the last measure.
Pattern number three, a big change here with the chords. We're gonna put ourselves onto some tense chord shapes, taking inspiration from Youth by Daughter, or Fast Car by Tracy Chapman, even Blackbird by Paul McCartney and Beatles, and these chords as loved by James Bay. And the chord groups, we're gonna have our G rooted up on string number five at the 10th fret. Then that shape we move down to the 5th fret, kind of what you call a D add 11, and then we're going to change the grip just slightly for an E minor chord, and then take that first shape down to the 3rd fret for the C. You can find out lots more about these tenths in a video that I did recently, follow the link. The picking pattern is as per the song Youth by Daughter, so we have thumb, index, thumb, middle, and we're always going to be on those strings, 5, 3, and 2, so it's thumb, index, thumb, middle. Take some time with that pattern there. We're going to give a measure to each chord. If you get it going nice, then you can maybe double time it and do it twice as fast. Pattern number four, we're gonna take ourselves into the feel of C major, and I do so if I wanna keep the chords the same with capoing at the seventh fret. Why at the seventh? Well, that means if I put a C-shaped chord in, I will actually have, in real terms, a chord of G. Okay, and I'm taking inspiration this time from uh, one of my favorite songs of all time, Picking Wise. That's a song called Things That Hide Away by The Deer Hunter. And I did a song lesson more recently on Aurora's tune murder song, 54321, has this kind of picking pattern. Coming out of the daughter pattern number three, we're now gonna be doing a similar thing, but we're gonna be changing the bass note, an alternating bass pattern. So we're gonna start off in like a C shape, remember it will be a G major, but I'm gonna name the chords now as the shapes as opposed to what they actually are. So we're gonna start with a C chord. And so we're gonna pick its thumb, index, thumb, middle. The thumb is alternating between strings five and four with the beat. Three, four, one, two, three, four. So you can start with putting the index finger in between those thumbs. Three, two, three. And when you feel confident, then you can start look to adding in the middle finger. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. your pattern. Now when the bass note goes on to string 6, as it will do for what's the G chord in measure 2 and the, the F in measure 4, the thumb picks move 6 to 4, 6, 4, 6, 4, in a similar pattern, 6, 4, 6, 4. And then we are going to go to an A minor 7 grip in measure 3, A minor without finger 3. And then get thumb over the top. Four will be an F grip here. Again, coming off the 6 ring, so it's 6 and 4. Putting that all together will give us this. Last, but by no means least, pattern number five. This is tricky.
So the inspiration is Kansas's tune, Dust in the Wind. One, because of the picking pattern, but also two, because of the kind of the moving of the notes on string number two, as per the intro and basically the main part of that song. So let's just take you through the chords first. We're gonna start with the G. I'm gonna grab finger number three on the bass note on string six. And then we're gonna go, be going in the same measure to a variation G5. We're gonna slide up the pinky on string number two up to this kind of a D add 9, add 11. I'm not sure if that's the correct name, but that's what it is. And then we're gonna drop down to finger number one, more conventional D add 11. And then we're gonna go to this chord, kind of like an E minor add 9. And then we're gonna open up the B string for an E minor grip, and then down to the C add 9, and C. So it's G, G5, D add 11 add 9, D add 11, E minor add 9, E minor, C add 9, C, G. So this picking pattern is very similar to pattern number 4, except it's going faster, really, and we have uh, two picks happening at the same time on the first of each two beat grouping. We pick bass and middle. And then it's bass, bass, index, bass, middle, bass, index. So you're going to spend a lot of time with that pattern. Off the fifth string it's the same idea, but the thumb is alternating five and four. So it's G, G5, D add 9, 11, E minor add 9, open the B. So there you are guys, my top 5 picking patterns. Remember, do take your time with them. Preferably use a metronome. I didn't mention that before, but it's the best way to get this going. Work to a click. Thumbs up. Ah! Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you again very soon. You take care. Bye-bye!